Hello, I'm System Override of OverideSystems.com and today I'm going to show you how to modify a program's OEP or original execution point or entry point using just Ollie Debugger. We've got a little simple program here and look, she wore a teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. It does nothing, it's just an inert program for the sake of our little tutorial. Now if we open this up in PEID we can see that it's uh, written in Microsoft Visual Basic and another good uh, another good thing about doing this is that you can mask the signature of what your program is written in so we see the entry point is 1128 alright whatever we're going to go ahead I can't do it that way it didn't let me alright I already loaded it so load the program into Ollie and we do see in fact that it is uh, 1128 as the original entry point. Now this is a two-step process. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to find a cave. Let's look at 1171. Alright, good enough for me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add an execution to jump to the original entry point, uh, which is up here, and then we're going to hit a symbol and if you take a look here it just simply jumps to the original entry point now we need to go ahead and copy this by right clicking copy to executable selection and it's going to ask us for a name now let's go ahead and make it project 2 just so we can keep our original separate and save it All right, we can go ahead and close this now and we can open project 2 now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but stay with me, I think you'll get it. Alright, as you can see, our uh, our entry our, our jump patch is already installed in this program, but the entry point hasn't actually been changed yet. The program would still in theory work, but we haven't changed anything. So what we've got to do is we've got to come up here and click on M for the memory map. And we're going to look right here at the PE header. And this is for the portable executable header and you're going to scroll down just a good little ways, it depends sometimes you might want to grab this, it could be a while and you see along in here you see the address of entry point and you see over here the address is 004000E0 you can write that down or just be cool like me and remember it, it's really up to you anyway you want to go back to your main CPU window and you want to click go to address and we're going to go to 4000E0 and we're going to click OK and this is how we get to where the uh, original entry point is in our program by right clicking follow and dump selection and right there the Indians remember it's backwards but 1128 is our original entry point. So let's go back here and let's find our address is 1171 and we need to remember that number. Go back to the 4000E0 point in the program. Follow it in the dump. Don't try and modify it up there. It's not going to do you any good. And this would work the same regardless of what program was written in. And you'll notice if you go through this a lot of times that uh, 4 triple z 0 e 0 is a common place for the OEP location. Now we're going to come down here and we don't need to, the 11 stayed the same, so all we need to do is highlight the 28. And we're going to go to right click, binary, edit, and we're going to change 28 to 71. We're going to hit OK. It turns red, or at least it does in mine. It may not in yours, I don't know, it might turn purple. Either way, who cares, it's changed. Then you're going to go to copy to executable. Once again, you're going to close it. Click yes. Go ahead and write over the same file. And click save. Overwrite it. And reload it. And as you, wait a minute. As we see here, our new program starts right here and then jumps to the original entry point here. We haven't really done anything, but this is just a low level of showing you an anti-debugging trick. So go ahead and close it out there, 
and go back to your original file. Now the first thing you want to do is test to make sure that it runs. And it does. There's our polka dot bikini, or at least the closest thing to a polka dot bikini I could find. I'm better at coding than I am at finding bikinis. Alright, now we're going to bring back the EID. And remember from project one it showed the original entry point being 1128 and it also saw the signature of what it was coded in. So let's load up this one here and lo and behold 1171 our original entry point has been masked and nothing found. It wasn't able to recognize the Visual Basic signature. So in a nutshell that's how you do it. It's real simple. All you need is Ollie. PEID is not needed. It just helps confirm your changes uh, that everything goes right. Always make a backup as you see here with the back file in case you screw something up. And uh, once again, that's a real easy way of changing a program's entry point. And what we did in our patch was called a code cave. And that's where we find an empty space inside the program's executable file where we can add our own code. And of course, this is for beginners. You can expand on this and just use your own imagination. Very popular for virus code. Very popular for self-patching programs. Things of that nature. Um, what you do with it is your affair. Anyway, uh, there you have your tutorial. And once again, I am System Override of OverrideSystems.com. Stop by and visit the website. Plenty of programs, tutorials, things like that there. We'd love to have you. And what else can I say? Um, that's the OverrideSystem.com tutorial for you. Nice, easy, and straightforward. You thought your data was safe? You were wrong.